In this video we are going to be talking about a thing that most of us arguably hate the most. At least, I do. That is doing your laundry. Now I'm making this video for all of you guys that have just now moved to the university and it's about time to do your first laundry. Now what might seem quite intuitive process is actually a quite intricate process and there is a lot of things that you can mess up and that can go wrong and you can just mess up your whole line of clothes. We don't want that to happen. Therefore, bring a notepad and take some notes from this video before you do your first laundry. Every good laundry is in four steps, of course. Everything has steps. The first step in doing your laundry when you're in university is to sort your clothes. Why do you want to sort your clothes, you might be asking. Well, that's a great question. Because you just cannot put everything into the washing machine, put a quarter in and hope for the best. Unfortunately, this way, a lot of things will come out with different colors than they came in. You don't want that to happen. So how do you separate? You separate mainly the whites from the rest of the colors. In general, Colors are okay to be washed together because, you know, if you have a black t-shirt and you put in with something red, then, well, the black will still stay black and the red will still stay red. Let's say that we divide whites and we divide blacks and if you want to be really pro about this, you can also divide all of the color ones. If you are anything like me, then you do not really have this process. You just have black and white clothes. It's all about making your life simple. Step number two is to choose the right program that you want to be washing your clothes on. If you've never washed any of your clothes and if you have especially something a bit more delicate, then on all of the clothes, there comes a little laundry tag, which tells you all of the things that you need to know about the clothing, such as what is the highest temperature that you should be washing it with, uh, what is the highest rotations per minute that you should be putting it on, or even, for example, whether you should be tumble drying it. Safe bet is to put your regular laundry on some quick program, because if the clothes are not too dirty, then you probably do not need more than 30 or 40 degrees. Also, if you do not put things on higher than 40 degrees, then you will diminish the chance that some of the dyes will spread out and they will color the other clothes and that they will break out. So did you find the right program? Well, in my case, this is something which is called Rapid 30 on our laundry machine. It's gonna be on 40 degrees and it's gonna be done in about 30 minutes, um, which is quite fine for something like a t-shirt because it's not too dirty. I would recommend you to divide your socks and your underwear into a separate basket and wash these on 60 degrees because you want to kill the bacteria and the germs that are unfortunately, in those two types of clothing that you have. Step number three. Now that things are in a washing machine, we have selected a program, it's a good idea to put in some detergent. Now there are three different types. There is the powder detergent, which you might know from all of the TVs and commercials and all, everything. I don't recommend this. Don't worry, kid. We've got Ariel. The second type is the liquid. Well, this is essentially what happens when you combine the powder one with water, but the liquid is just a bit more convenient. And the third type, the one that I'm personally using, is called Eco Egg. Eco Egg is amazing. I really, really love it. It's super, super cheap and is also sustainable and good for the environment. The way it works is that you put it into the laundry drum. When it is inside, the little bubbles or the little things that are inside are essentially the detergent. The good thing is that you do not have to change the inside of the eco egg more often than once in four or five months. Therefore, it's extremely cheap because one set of these little balls costs about 20 kronas and you don't have to change it more than once in three or four months, which is a game changer because normal laundry detergent costs a lot of money. Well, not a lot of money, but you know, it costs money. This is much, much cheaper. And it's also much more foolproof because you just throw it inside. Super, super easy, I recommend. But this is only half of the puzzle. The detergent is just gonna make sure that the clothes are being washed, that the germs are getting off from it, and that it's gonna be clean. Unfortunately, if you do not add a fabric softener, which is the second piece of the puzzle, the clothes will come out a bit stiff, and they will not feel so nice, and they will also not smell so nice, because the fabric softener is the thing that makes sure that the clothes come out smelling fresh and also they are soft to touch. Now again, do not overkill it, but add a little bit because, well, this comes down to a preference how much you like it to smell. And also do not be cheap on this because actually people can smell 
when you are using a cheap fabric softener. Invest a little bit more into one that smells nice and it's essentially like wearing a really nice perfume all over yourself and it's just much more natural. So that's a pro tip for me. Program selected, clothes sorted, detergent in, fabric softener in. Now let's hit the play button. 30 or 40 minutes later, out come clean clothes. Now it's time to dry them. How do we do that? You might think to yourself, well, of course, I just put it in the drying machine. You don't want to be doing that. The reason is that when you put things into the drying machine, you are enforcing a lot of stress on the material. So if you put a normal t-shirt into the drying hub or the drying drum, then it's essentially like wearing it 100 times over and over and over if you put it there for an hour. The problem is that, of course, materials should sustain this, but sometimes they don't. When I've been drying my clothes when I was a bit less bright than I am right now, I was always putting the clothes into the drying machine right after I put, took them from the washing machine. What this meant was that in two years I had to essentially replace all of my clothes because they were just damaged, falling apart, having holes in them like this is what happens if you put everything into the drying machine, so do not do that. Drying machine is mainly meant for towels and for bed sheets. Those are the things that you should be putting in there. The towels come out really nice and fluffy and the bed sheets, well, it's just a pain in the ass to hang and dry a two meter bed sheet. But when it comes to normal clothing, you should not be putting it into the dryer unless it's an emergency situation. What you should be using otherwise is a clothing rack where you just simply spread out the clothes and well, you hang them. I probably do not need to explain this part to you. So, congratulations, you have finished your first laundry as an adult being in a university. I hope that everything went fine and smooth. Let us know in a comment what was your process, what was the first time you were ever doing laundry in a university. Share your funny stories, share the mess ups like I'm doing on this channel and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to watch these kind of videos, if you want them to be coming out on a regular basis, let us know in the comments what other topics should we tackle. And if we forget anything, then just write us a comment and we will reply to it as soon as possible. If you are interested to read some more blogs about living in Denmark or living in uh, university or studying in general, then make sure to head to Student Salvegat at DK where you can read some more blogs. Now, happy laundry, I guess. <laughs>